Hey guys, we're back for some more standard here on the ladder. And I wanted to kind of revisit the Boros Convoke deck after getting just completely destroyed by it yesterday there on the ladder with uh, Mono Red. So I just, um, I had a look at mpgdecks.net and I found a list here. So the credit here is to Eric Hennig, um, who posted a 7-1 uh, first place winning list at, um, I think it was a, a 5k event, um, but I'll have a link in the description. So this is his, I think, best of three list, including the sideboard. And just looking at it here, it, it does make some kind of interesting changes here that I like a lot. Um, the addition of Cavern of Souls, since we only have two different creature types, um, we've only got vampires and humans. That makes sense, and it also, now that we're seeing more counter spells kind of coming back into the format, um, especially with like No More Lies, we're seeing a lot of that. This makes a lot of sense. Also minimizing the number of Thran portals, since you are taking so much damage yourself off the pain lands, also makes sense. The addition of two copies of Sundown Pass, um, I think just might be a necessity, uh, just because we don't have the fast lands of some of the other colors like uh, Azorius or uh, Selesnia. So yeah, a lot of these changes make sense. And this list here has, I believe, 22 land. So it is quite a bit more land heavy than the list that I was kind of running. There are some nice um, similarities though. Like, you know, he definitely agrees that we're um, two frontliners make sense. Because I think that just between Voldar and Epicure here and Novice Inspector, um, you don't have enough artifacts to really ensure that Cleeful Demolition always hits. And so having those extra frontliners really does make sense. Um, also, the move of addition of Case of the Gateway Express is really good. And with all the creatures running around, this is often just kill whatever they have in play and then get um, a buff for all your creatures. So this is really powerful. Um, yeah, so I want to take it for a spin and... I think this is might be one of the best builds here um, for Boros Convoke, just looking at it. And the sideboard also makes a lot of sense. You have four copies of Invasion of Goba Khan for the control matchups, destroy evil for any kind of enchantments that are pesky to deal with, um, which could even be brought in against control if they're running like temporary lockdown, um, potentially. And then Lithomantic Barrage to help out against um, pesky planeswalkers or um, like for the uh, mono white matchup and then lantern flare helps out against mono red aggro or kind of maybe even the mirror um, and then wedding announcement probably also just to kind of help um, give you some more survivability against like rakdos and decks that just want to like kill spot remove everything like it'd be good against golgari so i really like the sideboard i think that some potential things you could look at for the sideboard would be like, and the festivities would be really good in the mirror. Um, yeah, so that's just, you know, one other card that I think would potentially add a lot. But um, I do want to see where this list takes us. So the other point that I'd like to make here is I think that the deck probably could support a third Mirix. Um, I understand why he only has two, but, you know, this is a potential shift here. Um, I, you know, running three copies of Mirix for a while, it did seem to work. So I think you could potentially go up to three copies of Mirix for this deck, which also helps make artifacts. Um, yeah, and then if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. And if you do like my content, maybe drop a comment or a like or consider subscribing and sharing it with a friend of yours who might also like my content. For my returning viewers, thank you so much again for your support. Um, I really do appreciate you guys. You do mean the world to me. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump to some games. So yeah, trying to kind of make sort of some of the mono white or mono red decks work in the top ladder um, was pretty rough yesterday and ended up dropping rank quite a bit. So now right around 650. So hoping to climb back up, but I think that, you know, just continually running into this deck, this deck is just really, really powerful. And 
you know, if you can't beat him, maybe join him. Um, yeah, this opener looks good. We've got Epicure into Demolition, which feels great. And then we can just go Warden. So I think we lead out with our Epicure here. And then we can name Human off Cavernous Souls. Yeah, and it looks like we're up against the mirror already. Don't need any more land. Now, one of the notable changes is this version does not run Regal Bunicorn, which I think is a really great card in this deck, but I can understand why they're not running it. So, yeah, I think we just War Leader's Call plus Knight Aaron of Yes feels pretty good. Only one hit kind of hurts, but I think we're in a pretty decent spot now. Hold the planes here just in case we get like another like blood token. And now we can get our warden up into the air. Happy to trade our Knight Errant for their Regal Bunicorn if they want to make that trade. But yeah, this deck is just really, really powerful. I've also been thinking of doing some drafts. I really am enjoying the uh, the current draft format. Um, I don't know if you guys would be interested in watching any draft videos, but I find them interesting and entertaining and might make a draft video or two. Uh, yeah, this hand looks great. I've also been thinking of kind of dipping my toes in and maybe like uh, potentially Twitch streaming or like finding a way to um, stream live. 
um, just because you know I don't really edit my videos a whole lot other than just um, you know putting in like the stuff at the beginning and the end so yeah it's something I'm considering um, I would just be curious if that would be something that you guys would be interested in or not um, otherwise you know it's it's pretty uh, relaxed for me to just um, kind of pre-record also Okay, that's a nice one. I think we want to keep that on top and just go, Yeah, you know, we can just go like Warden plus Case next turn or War Leader's Call, so that feels pretty good. Um, let's just go War Leader's Call this turn. could go like warden plus recruiter here that's not bad it's a decent chunk of damage and we've got the murex to kind of grind him out So unless they deal with this War Leader's Call, like, the Murex tokens will just eventually be lethal. Like, we could go Novice Inspector here, um, but I think if they have, like, another board wipe, well, I guess we could just make something, like, next turn, too, because this gets them pretty low, and then we can draw a card. So, yeah, I guess Novice Inspector here is fine. gonna do it yeah so far liking the deck quite a bit Part of the reason that I'm kind of excited about drafting a bit more is that there is an upcoming arena open uh, at the beginning of March, and I definitely, I love Limited, I'd love to do some more, 
and I think it'd be a lot of fun just to try to get ready for it. Ah, uh, yeah, this hand is not going to work. This hand looks great. I think I just keep one case here. I think one is probably good. We want everything else. Okay, looks like we're up against the Gruel Picnic Ruiner deck. Um, yeah, I think we lead out with Epicure here. Question is, do they have Picnic Ruiner? Yeah, Swift Spear is still pretty nasty, though. So I think our best bet here is to try to be able to case of Gateway Express on a turn, maybe next turn, if they don't, uh, if they like tap out. But it's looking pretty grim. And then I think we probably cycle something here. Um, and I think we need over all of our creatures, so we probably just attack here. Hopefully they won't be able to kill us. six if they've got like plus three plus three it's gonna be ten so I think that evangelist is probably not good enough so we probably have to sack it hope to get a one drop to be able to use it to kill swift spear if they tap out Okay, demolition's pretty good. So, problem is they almost certainly have spells up for Swift Spear, but we, at least we can Knight Errant. So I guess if we if we Gleeful Demolition, what's the play? If we attack in first and then Gleeful Demolition, or we just hold back for Knight Errant. Okay, let's let's get the free attack since we're gonna get rid of this thing anyways. Let's think we attack for one. Yeah, we could try to case here, but it's just, we need the Knight Errant. Um, question is, do we want to bring this back in Knight Errant for five? I don't think so. I think if there's a chance of us winning, maybe we leave our 2-2 two -two back here and just Knight Errant for three. I think that's probably, it's probably the best. I guess if we find one drops though, we could play a one drop. But we don't have any one drops that are two power.
And I think we need all the power and toughness. I guess if we had Cased of Gateway Express, if that's all they had, they probably have other pump spells, but that would have only gone to four, so we could have killed it. Ugh, yeah, I just... They'd have to have, like, no other pump spells in their hand, which is almost impossible. They almost certainly have pump here. Um, I think we've got to respect it, though, since we're at six. So if they have like Monstrous Rage, I mean, we just lose to so many things here. Okay, not technically dead, but very close to it. Um, so I think we want to get Case of the Gateway Express down. So I think we go probably Novice Inspector plus Case to take out their etching of Kumano. And then hope they don't have a way to make that thing get trampled. If we have any chance of winning, this is going to be how we do it. But if they have like any haste creature, we're just done. Okay, so we died a scamp. Um, I think we're, yeah, I think we're just dead. Actually, I guess there is a way. So the way that we do this is that we, We would have to like Iganjo our own guy on the blocks against Scamp. And we have to hold up all our mana and not do anything, basically. So it doesn't really get us anywhere. I guess like if we attack all, but then they just attack back and kill us, I think we're just dead. I guess if like they well, they, they would attack. There's no reason that they wouldn't attack. Yeah, because we have no way of gaining life. Okay, so we gotta go like this, and then we have to Iganjo our own 2-1. <coughs> but we have no way of getting life, we can't do 14. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Yeah. 
Oh well. Okay, this opening hand looks pretty good. So we've got the vampire here, but we also have red and white mana, so that's fine if we name it. So yeah, I think we just name human here and then play out the frontliner. The only possible downside is if we have like, if we draw into like Epicure next turn and we, and we need red mana to do that and also demolition. So I think maybe in that case, I'm just gonna lead out with forge and play. Since we're gonna have this forge anyways, we don't take damage from this, and this is a good way to get it out and give us options. Okay, another Picnic Ruiner deck. Since the damage matters so much, I think we play the Sokens in just to not take damage here. I guess we could reinforcements here. It's a little bit more mana efficient, but I think we just want these tokens out there, giving us more power on the board. trade for swift spear i don't think so i think we want to try to counter push here so i think we want to try to set up as big an attack as possible because if they can't quite do 13 to us although they certainly might be able to like we could recruit her here and push for a decent amount but if we go evangelist and then recruiter we can also add like frontliner into the mix. I think that's probably the way. Okay, so Runer's pushing 12 if it goes unblocked. Scamp is pushing, we'll give you the other 13. Okay, so I think we have to block here. We have to block here. This is 13. So we'd have to block here and here to live through it. I 
then we don't have enough to push back for the win. Okay, so we got a block here, 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 and here. Yeah, we just haven't got enough. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Um, what do I think about the list? I think it's a really good list. And I think that, yeah, maybe the Picnic Runer deck is just a little bit faster, especially if it's on the play. So I don't know if that we could have played those games a whole lot differently. I don't know, maybe put it in the comments if you saw a different line. But um, yeah, overall, I really like the list and I think it's a good one to rank up with. And again, credit goes to Eric Hennig, the, uh, the deck builder. Um, so. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I almost forgot, here are the updated stats for the deck. So it is currently 65% win rate uh, with all the different versions, this uh, most recent version going 50-50. And total number of wins, 52 wins and 28 losses. So it does much better on the play at 84% and then 49% on the draw. So it's pretty rough on the draw, but um, overall, the kind of the, the good matchups here, so Mono Red is still slightly positive, and there are some great matches here against like Mono Black, currently 9-0, and um, Mono White 71%, 83% against Blue White Control, um, or I guess all versions of Blue White, and then Orzov here is pretty good as well at 75%, Slesnia 100% 4-0. I guess just like Artifact, or this maybe it's not enough cards to see what deck it was, 100%. And then some rough matchups here. Um, Bat Toxic is rough. I've only had a couple games, so haven't seen a whole lot, but um, Domain can be a little bit hard. Um, and I guess like Demir or Esper, um, you know, I, I guess can go not so well here. Um, and then I have not done great here in the mirror. So currently at 36%, four wins and seven losses. So that could just be player error. And the other deck here is against Gruel. So yeah, 40%, two and three. Um, it could be they're just faster than us, but um, yeah. So at any rate, have a great rest of your day, guys. And we will see you again soon.